I'm JJ Barnes and you're watching another episode of Creative Writing for Kids. So today I'm going to be talking to you about continuity. So the continuity of your story is if you mention a, a detail at the beginning of your story, you have to make sure that you remember it so that every time you mention that character or that event again, that detail is the same. Because if you start mixing them up and you change what happened or you change how characters look, it can get really confusing for your audience because it might seem like you're talking about something different or it just makes the character and things a bit messy. You're a bit confused. It makes the writing just difficult to get into. So if at the beginning of your story you say that your character, uh, Peter, has red hair and blue eyes, but then after a while you've been writing quite a lot of your story and you've written quite a few more characters, and then you have to describe how he looks again and you forget that you've already done that. So then you describe him as having red hair and brown eyes. And it might seem like a small thing, but if your audience remembers that he's men to have blue eyes, it will stand out to them. Or if you describe something happening and then you kind of mix the events around. So say you have a character run into the school classroom, shout that something happens, people jump up and they knock things over and you start describing little incidents. And it's all very dramatic and exciting. But then when you come to talk about it again later, you maybe mix up who dropped their bag on the floor and who knocked a chair over. Or you say the teacher says something different or even a different person runs into the room. It throws the story out and it means your audience can't quite connect because things keep changing and it's confusing. Now you might be thinking, but why would I forget something like that? That's obvious. If a character looks a certain way or events happen, I'm not going to forget. Let me tell you, you might, <laughs> because I have. I have forgotten my continuity has gone wrong because especially when you've written a lot, a lot of stories and if you come back to one, and you just try and jump in. If you've written 50 characters doing 50 different things since you've described one, you easily can forget. Because there's only so much room in here. And we push it. Writers, we push it. Because we try and live a thousand different lives. So we're not only trying to remember the details of our own life and our own friends and our own things that we're doing, we're trying to remember a whole world of others. So there's a lot you're trying to get in your head, a lot you can mess up. So what I would advise you do, if you write a character, the first time you describe them, if you're like, hmm, I feel like this character would have long yellow hair and green eyes. So keep a notebook. Right, that character is called Shelley. And Shelley has long yellow hair and what did I just say? Blue eyes, green eyes, I can't even remember now and I'm just saying that two minutes later. And write it down. And then when you come to write her again, for any reason, you've got exactly what she looks like there. And it's okay to mess it up. And it's okay to realise after you've been writing for a bit that you've messed it up. Let me tell you, because my first book, I that came out in... 2016 I think honestly the amount of details I'm trying to keep in here no wonder I forget characters eye colors I tell you I think it came out in 2016 since then um, I've had more books come out a TV show um, start right um, start going to production and I've written that a film written and filmed and just so many things that I've been trying to deal. So by the time I go back to that first book and the characters in that first book to start writing more about that world, there's so many things in my head and so many characters from so many different stories. I mix them up. So my first book is Lily Prospero and the Magic Rabbit. My third book, Emerald Wren, there's characters in that that when I go back to try and write another Lily Prospero book, I'm like, was that character from Emerald Ran or Lily Prospero? I'm not sure. Because there's a lot of world and a lot of characters. So I have got spreadsheets, a lot of spreadsheets, all about the characters I've written and the events and the things that have happened to them. Because 
I do forget. And if your continuity goes, your audience notices, even if you forget, your audience doesn't, they notice. So yeah, keeping track of your continuity is an important job. And I highly recommend you try and do it. So yeah, keeping notes of who they are, and then when you read it again, and you read it again, and you read it again, because you've got to read your story, you've got to know your story inside out, if you do notice any continuity mix-ups, you can check your notebook, and find out what the right answer is, and fix it. I hope that helps. And if you can, come and find me on Facebook. It's Creative Writing for Kids with JJ Barnes. Over there I'm posting info and links and games and all kinds of fun stuff to keep you busy and keep your imaginations going and hopefully having a lot of fun. I also have social media. I've put description, like in the description below, I've put links to everything. So come and talk to me over there. Tell me what you're doing. Tell me about your characters and your stories and everything you're writing. And what else? Can you like and subscribe this video? Because I want to keep doing this and hopefully I'm helping you and yeah, it helps. So thank you very much. And I'll be back again soon. Bye.